I'm usually not a bike person, but if there is one brand that I would absolutely love to own one day, that is Triumph. I love the Street Triple, I love the Speed Twin, I love the Tiger, but unfortunately, I don't have that much money to spend on a motorcycle. But ever since the rumors that Bajaj and Triumph have been working on something have come out, I've been super excited to see the final product and well, here it is. This is the Triumph Speed 400 and at an incredible inaugural price of only Rs 2.23 lakh, rupees, well, some of us have already booked it. Now, one thing Bajaj and Triumph have emphasized on heavily is that this motorcycle doesn't share anything with the KTM Duke 390 or RC390 or even the Bajaj Dominar 400. Now, the thing is, a lot of the figures, a lot of the specs might look and sound similar to those motorcycles, but actually, this is a completely brand new engine built in conjunction with Bajaj for the Triumph Speed 400. Now, let me tell you the specs. This is a 400cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine engine makes 40 HP and 37.5 Newton meters of torque, which is very, very healthy and very, very satisfying to ride when you're on the motorcycle. Uh, the thing is, these guys have emphasized a lot on the torque curve of this motorcycle. So after 3000 RPM, you basically have almost 80 to 90% of the torque available right then and there. And that makes riding this motorcycle super easy, doing overtakes very easy and maintaining high speeds also very easy. And yes, this is a pretty fast motorcycle motorcycle because it only weighs 170 kilograms. It might look like a proper roadster and a proper big boy Triumph motorcycle but still weighs only 170 kgs. Now take a very lightweight motorcycle like this, put in a pretty powerful block like this 400cc TR series Triumph uh, engine over here and this thing can go from 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds and 0 to 100 kph in 7 seconds which is pretty rapid in my opinion. Now, even though I said this motorcycle only weighs 170 kgs, well, it's not the most dynamic motorcycle to ride. Now, in the morning today, we were able to actually ride the Triumph Speed 400 on Bajaj's Chakan test track. But Triumph was very adamant on the fact that the race track or a test track is not the natural habitat for this Speed 400. And well, that was proven correct because in the morning when we were testing it out on the track, well, was a little difficult to maneuver around some of the slower corners obviously in the high speed stuff because of the way the chassis is built because of triumph's amazing chassis uh, dynamics and everything this thing is a beautiful bike in long sweeping corners but for tight twisty stuff well this is not the motorcycle for it this thing isn't a motorcycle that you ride at 10 tenths of its limit this is something that you ride only at 7 tenths or 8 tenths a nice little cruise on a nice canyon road well that's the natural habitat for the Speed 400. And how does Triumph Bajaj achieve such a nice riding experience? Well, it comes down to the suspension. You get a 43mm USD up front and a gas monoshock at the rear which keeps the bike compliant when you want it and stiff enough when you are on a spirited run. The braking setup also is very impressive with a 300mm disc up front and a 230mm disc at the rear with dual channel ABS. This motorcycle can stop on a dime. The seat height also is a chilled out 790mm which is very good for shorter riders and you get a decently large fuel tank which can accommodate 13 litres of fuel.
Also, if you're really feeling it, you have the option to turn off traction control and let the tail loose. The control and the fluidity in the riding experience is truly next level, something we haven't seen in a cruiser or a roadster style motorcycle in this segment. And once you stop at a beautiful location like this, you can truly get to appreciate how beautiful the Speed 400 looks. And I mean, it looks like a Triumph motorcycle. It does not have any sort of Bajaj elements in it. Now, let me give you an analogy. Basically, think of the Triumph Speed 400 or Triumph as Gordon Ramsay and Bajaj as Sanjeev Kapoor. Gordon Ramsay has given the recipe to Sanjeev Kapoor as to how to make a beef wellington. And that's basically it. Bajaj have only taken the recipe and the ingredients and the instructions and crafted the Speed 400 in India. And yes, this is a bike made solely in India. All of the parts, all of the motorcycles are going to be exported from India to all of the other nations worldwide. And that, in my opinion, is a very impressive feat. Coming back to the looks, well, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I think so, these five spoke uh, wheels look really nice. I love this blue paint and the dual tone, tri tone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the cluster resembles kind of like the speed triple or the street triple. Then you come down to the side, you have this nice chunky muffler at the end and a single piece seat, which looks really nice. And again, at the back, you have a very triumph looking rear tail light and overall I think so it's a very pretty motorcycle and if you compare it to the other motorcycle that someone did from India in collaboration with an American brand well I think so this looks just a tiny bit better. I love the simplicity of the instrument cluster but there is one thing that really annoys me. The speedometer and the tachometer could have been inverted. I would have preferred the analog dial to be the tack because there were a couple of instances where I hit the limiter because I couldn't read the tiny little tachometer properly. But this definitely isn't something that is a deal breaker. The riding triangle is very comfy and neutral, not too aggressive and not too relaxed, gives you good maneuverability over the motorcycle. Now the main attraction for most people would be the amazing price tag of the Speed 400. But that's not the only reason why you should consider this amazing motorcycle. Trust me, if this was a bad product, I would have told you upfront, but that's not the case. There are multiple other reasons to actually really desire this motorcycle because the engine is amazing. The way it pulls, the torque, the power, the way it sounds, it's like a proper Triumph motorcycle, except it's a single cylinder, but it still sounds like a Triumph. And the way they have achieved it, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, every time you downshift or upshift, it has like a nice crack or a bobble or something of that sort. And yeah, it sounds absolutely fantastic. And it has a lot of little details here and there, which I can't really think off the top of my head. But those are some details that you only find in Triumph motorcycles. And that is what everyone from Bajaj and Triumph have been emphasizing all day, is that the attention to detail on this motorcycle is truly next level and I don't doubt them. And then coming again, Bajaj, one of the best manufacturers in India for motorcycles, well, they have built this bike. So the fit and finish, the quality, the spare parts, the availability and everything of that sort should be sorted in that sense. And yeah, I think so overall for the price, for the power, for the bang for the buck that you get, this is an amazing motorcycle at that price tag. It's a steal in fact. Coming to the conclusion, well, the Speed 400 is an amazing motorcycle and already the 300 to 400 cc sports bike, performance bike, roadster, cruiser, whatever you want to call it, that segment is one of the most competitive segments in the market. You have some really big names in there, stuff like the KTM Duke 390. Then you have the newly launched Harley Davidson X440, the Honda CB300R, the BMW G310R, RR310. The list goes on and on. And we haven't even come to Royal Enfield. That's how big that segment is. But Bajaj and Triumph have come out and given us a product that actually stands apart. The fit and finish, the pricing, the power, all of the kit that you get, well, this is truly an amazing package. And considering the introductory offer of 2.23 lakhs for the first 10,000 people who book this bike, well, that's an amazing deal. And guess what? We are one of the 10,000 people in the first batch who have booked this bike. And let's see, I mean, we're not sure if we're going to buy it or not. It's totally up on Tanai if he wants to get it or not. But yeah, we definitely have booked it. And yeah, I think so this would be an amazing addition to the channel to see regularly because this bike is so interesting and we would love to see what we can do further ahead in terms of accessories, mods, the whole shebang. So yeah, 
let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the Speed 400. Now, everyone is excited for the Scrambler 400X, but that's coming out in October. So you'll have to wait for that video in October. So till then, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the Speed 400. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, and I'll catch you in the next one.